A temple man has been missing since last Wednesday, and tonight his mother fears he is in real danger. Six News reporter Darren Wallace met with his mother today. South Sudanese politician Suzanne Jombo, who says she hasn't slept in days. He joins us now from the Six Newsroom with more details. Hey, Darren. Hey guys, Suzanne Jumbo told me her son means everything to her and spending these last few days without him has been a nightmare. She just wants him to come home. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. That's never ever happened before with him, so I don't know what is going on. Suzanne Jumbo moved from South Sudan to Central Texas with her son Dre in 2018 to flee the violence and chaos there and live a more relaxing life. I decided to go and live in Killeen, which is a very small, quiet, sleepy town. Like, you can just move around in, in simple clothes, jeans, shorts, or whatever, and no one would recognize. Now the pair live in Temple, where Dre had gotten a job in an H-E-B warehouse. Suzanne says they're very close. He is her world. Of course, my most precious person is my son. So I made sure that he came first. Since which makes last Wednesday's Texas. events that much more puzzling for her. He's a good kid, he's a loving, but he's also a protector and provider. I mean, the day that he disappeared, he, I had some pain at my, in my back, and then he said, Mommy, let me go and get you some medicine. Dre left their home in Temple at 4 p.m. to fetch medicine and food for his mother. Hours later, at around 9 p.m., she got a strange text. He tells me, Mom, I love you so much, I will always love you. The word I will always, and out of nowhere, got something ticked in me. It's uncharacteristic of him. He is not like that. I've been sending him all this text for days now. Jumbo says her relationship with her son is strong and she feels strongly that he is in danger. For sure, one, my son, wherever he's at, he is not at his will. That, I feel it. Jumbo believes Dream may have been taken but is still holding on to hope that her boy will soon come home. I know my son is, is receiving those prayers and my son is getting empowered and he'll come out of it. Temple police have launched a full investigation into Dree's disappearance. No one from the department was able to answer my questions today, but we will be following up to see if they believe Dree could have been taken. He was last seen wearing a light blue shirt with gray sweats and was driving a 2017 gray Ford Focus. Temple police asked that you call them if you have any information regarding his whereabouts. Guys. All right. Thank you, Darren.